So it looks like the trouble for Kenya Moore is far from over. There is now a report that Kenya Moore has been fired from the Real Housewives of Atlanta at the top of season 16. Not only that, MediaTakeout.com is reporting that Kenya Moore is planning to sue the people that leaked any of the footage from her grand opening. Here we go now. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. If you're in New York City, don't forget we will be live this Friday for the Kempire After Dark live show, including some special guests from Summer House Martha's Vineyard, uh, Jasmine Cooper and Noelle Hughley, and also a special guest, Silas Cooper, who's, who was serving our country is back you know i have questions like what did he think of this season and how they treated his wife <laughs> and don't forget i'll be in boston on june 27th then i'm coming to the dirty south nashville i'll see you on july 11th and then i will see you guys in atlanta on july 12th go get your tickets today more information on the Kempire after dark live shows will be available in the description so speaking of Atlanta, we've been covering this Real Housewives of Atlanta drama since the news broke that Kenya Moore allegedly may have shared explicit photos of her co-star, Brittany Eadie. I will remind you, Brittany Eadie took to social media confirming that she appeared to be bullied by Kenya during the season so far, and apparently revenge corn was shared. She even shared the Georgia statute in regards to what revenge corn is. Since then, Kenya Moore took to her social media denying this in a very specific statement, very specific with her words in regards to, I never shared anything that wasn't public and I wasn't using it to threaten or, any, or anything like that. Very specific. Then she promised her followers that she was going to go on Instagram Live and spill it all. But people at the end of it were like, you spilled nothing. The only tea that we actually got from that Instagram Live was the fact that she's still married to that man, Mark Daly, after seven years. After seven years, th those two are still going strong. Going strong. Well, not only that, Kenya has been having some interesting social media behavior because she said on social media, well, she retweeted uh, a statement. First of all, this we have to I have to remind you in regards to how this all played out first. Media Takeout was the first to report this incident happening at the grand opening. Michelle A.T. and Brown was the first to report in regards to Kenya Moore being suspended indefinitely. Then Entertainment Tonight reported that she was suspended indefinitely and may not return. It should be noted that Entertainment Tonight has closed close ties to Bravo and NBC Universal. So they're reporting that. And mind you, the, the author of the article is Kenya's friend. So when I saw that Entertainment Tonight said and may not return, that is coming from a Bravo executive, allegedly. I'll just say that. So in response to Bryce and Sander reporting on this on social media, a person says, but Tom Sandoval can screen record Raquel touching herself without her consent and end up on traitors. Kenya retweets this with the bulging eye emojis. Here's the thing. If Kenya was in a good place with Bravo right now, she would not be doing this. If she wasn't worried about her job, she would not be doing that. If she knew that she was definitely coming back. And yes, on her Instagram live, she says that she's not going anywhere. And I just want people to stop uh, trying to tear down another black woman's business. Like, it's not that serious. You know, I think that I, I don't bother people unless they bother me. I'm over here trying to feed my family of two. Um, I have a lot of responsibilities and I just don't need people just, you know, going out of their way to to disparage my you know my good name so um so yes that's that's what i wanted to share with you guys uh i didn't get to a hundred thousand viewers so i'm not sure <laughs> if i should spill the beans on anything else thank you someone writes um we want you to win um i stay winning you know it, it is just it is in my blood everything you know Success matriculates around me. 
Um, so I accept that God has given me that, but I also give back as much as I can possibly can. So, um, I give back to so many charities, so many girls just in, in my daily life, you know, my ministry, what I do to help other young girls that are going through tough and difficult times. Um, I give back. So that's, that's just a part of who I, who I am. I don't have to broadcast that. Um, so again, um, thank you for for being a part of building this empire with me you will be seeing me i'm not going anywhere <laughs> uh despite all this stuff this surrounding um whatever this you know people decide that they want to write um thank you Vaughn. i on honestly took that as yes you will still see her in some shape or form probably not on real housewives of atlanta all of you employment attorneys and HR professionals agreed with me in the, the last video that we did on, on this. You said in any other environment, working environment, and this is a working environment, a lot of companies would see zero tolerance in regards to this and you would be terminated immediately. And entertainment's a little different. There are contracts. So that's probably part of the reason why we haven't heard anything officially but I'm not surprised that this news is coming out that Kenya Moore is not returning. Before we get to that, Kenya Moore apparently is amping up her, her legal representation, including threatening to sue whoever leaked the footage of what played out at her hair spa because that didn't look good for her. But in honesty, yes, in the eye of the public, it didn't look good for you. But Bravo already had the evidence because they could all they had to do is talk to Truly Original, who allegedly the crew were like flabbergasted by what Kenya did. This is what media takeout reports in regards to Kenya Moore suing the blogs. So big wigs at Bravo uh, laid down the law last week after Kenya leaked photos allegedly showing images of new cast member Brittany Eady performing oral on on a man one one insider uh explained that brit sent her lawyers to bravo and it was a big mess they looked at the footage and suspended kenya it's not clear whether she'll be back this season but kenya moore is not taking the suspension sitting down they said media takeout exclusively learned that kenya hired a, a team of top entertainment lawyers who plan on fighting for kenya if court in court if need be and we're told Kenya's lawyers are planning on filing a lawsuit against those who leaked images and video from Kenya's spa opening. An insider explained Kenya Moore and Bravo made everyone who attended the event sign a non-disclosure agreement. They all signed the contract and took a photograph, which confirmed that they would abide by the terms. The insider continued one or more people secretly recorded video from the event in violation of the contract and distributed it online. We're told that Kenya's legal team is preparing to sue those individuals. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Like I said before, Bravo already had the footage. Any evidence that they needed to get rid of Kenya, they had it already. I don't know the intention behind whoever leaked this footage. I don't know if it was trying to save face because I know Team Tora were, were like, see, she's vindicated. But a lot of us heard that footage and the way that she sex shamed Brittany Edie and talked about how Yo Gotti was DMing Brittany Edie and calling her an escort and things like that. It didn't look good for Kenya, at least in, in the eye of the world of public opinion. Well, now our friends over at Bravo and Cocktails, you know, the same folks that were the first to report that Real Housewives of New Jersey were not going to get a reunion, later confirmed by Bravo. They're reporting this. They said Kenya is done. NBC has zero tolerance for this at this current point in time and doesn't want legal repercussions from Brit. The footage has all been reviewed and wasn't a good look for Kenya on any level. Production was even shocked. We have to keep something in mind because I've seen a lot of people say, like I reported to you guys before in regards to Tom Sandoval, a lot of people are saying, well, what about this? This happened before and they let people get away with it. This person um, went away and now they're back. Look at Phaedra. Blah, blah. We have to remember, yes, those things happened years ago or a couple of years ago. Since then, we had the reality TV reckoning led by multiple attorneys and Bethany Frankel. Since that reality TV reckoning, NBC Universal updated their policies and procedures. 
and issue those policies and procedures to be updated to their third-party production companies. So they are very sensitive right now, especially because they're facing multiple lawsuits and legal conversation with Brittany, um, not Brittany, Brandy Glanville, a, a updated lawsuit from Leah McSweeney, a recent lawsuit from Caroline Manzo, and those are the ones that we know about. And the reality TV reckoning attorneys that were involved with Bethany are still down Bravo's neck. Still down NBC Universal's legal department's neck. So Bravo is very sensitive and they know that all eyes are on them. Not the, just the eyes of the viewers or the fans. More, more so these attorneys that are accusing them of other things and other lawsuits. So they're, if you've seen this before. If they can make an example of someone, they're probably going to do it. It's unfortunate that Kenya who I think because they edited out her last grand opening for the spa last season may have wanted to have some sort of moment in order to guarantee that it would be seen, did not calculate this well. And I told you when I first heard about this, I was like, this is not true. I was like, media takeouts reporting this. I don't believe this. I don't think Kenya, Kenya has done all kinds of stunts and shows. I know. <laughs> okay, I know. But I didn't think that she would do this at her own event. I did not think that she would, not to say that she should have did it anywhere else, but I'm just saying, I, that, that's why I was like, this is not real. This is not true. Because I was like, she's not going to use her own event to do that. And then I thought about it a little bit more. And then the footage came out and the photos came out. Kenya, you did not calculate this right at all. And now that you're being suspended and possibly fired from the network, they aren't going to consider you for other things throughout the network. They're not. At least not right now. Guys, as always, I want to know your reaction to the news or the possibility that Kenya Moore will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I told you, I, didn't, I wouldn't believe this. If Kenya was to come back, it would be because casting, is, they, just, they, can't, they just can't get it together when it comes to casting. And honestly, I believe that's part of the reason why she even got her position because the casting was a mess. But as always, let's continue this conversation in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. And again, if you are in the New York City area, go get your tickets today for our Friday live show. The Campfire After Dark live show is coming back to New York City. Go get your tickets. And if you are far, far away and, and you know I won't be coming to your city or your country, there is a live stream option link available. But if you're in New York to try to say, Eric, go get your tickets. Come in person. There are meet and greets and all kinds of really cool things happening at this live show. And if you are in the Boston area, go get your tickets today for our June 27th show. And then again, we'll be in Atlanta and Nashville in July. And then Seattle in August. More information on the Kempire After Dark live show will be available in the description. Thank you guys so much for listening and for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Here we go now.